Now we can put in these miniature devices, which in fact last longer than normal pacemakers and have about half the risk. Which is, so it's a game changer in terms of how to treat patients. I don't have the conventional one, so I, I, I don't know what that would have been like, but this one is so unobtrusive. Uh, it just sits in the base of my heart and keeps my heart rate at or above 50 with no, um, no wrinkles or complications, so I'm not even aware it's there. On this side, inside the heart, you can see the new pacemaker. So it's roughly an inch and a quarter long. And on the right-hand side is a regular pacemaker. This is a modern pacemaker. You can see that it's much, much smaller than a normal pacemaker and doesn't require this bulky lead. So this is very minimally invasive. It's a single poke in the groin. And through that, we're able to put the device directly into the heart. And then it's out of sight, out of mind. So patients, when they look in the mirror in the morning, they see their normal body. They don't see a scar. They don't see a lump. They don't have ongoing discomfort or problems related to it. When they travel, they're not worried about going through airport security because the device is small enough it won't set off a metal detector and it's compatible with things like MRIs, which we commonly do on patients, that's considered to be MRI conditional. One of the really most rewarding things of this was I, I saw my first patient in follow-up and I said, we're here to check your pacemaker, and they said, oh right, I've got a pacemaker I forgot. Got installed and that was two years ago now and it's been great. Together, we do amazing things every day.